Sheryl Sandberg is an American businesswoman and executive known for her leadership roles at major technology companies. Today we will discover her life from government to Google and beyond. Sheryl Cara Sandberg was born on August 28, 1969, in Washington, D.C. She earned her bachelor's degree in economics from Harvard University in 1991, where she was also awarded the John H. Williams Prize for the top graduating student in economics. After completing her education, Sandberg worked as a management consultant for McKinsey & Company. She later worked as Chief of Staff for the United States Secretary of the Treasury, Lawrence Summers, during the Clinton administration. Google was founded by Larry Page and Sergey Brin, PhD students at Stanford University, in 1996. Google was officially incorporated on September 4, 1998. In 2001, Eric Schmidt joined Google as chairman of the board of directors. Eric Schmidt was born on April 27, 1955. He earned a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering from Princeton University in 1976 and later obtained a master's degree and a PhD in computer science from the University of California. In 2001, Google was still a private company, and Schmidt played a key role in guiding its technical and business strategies. Under his leadership, Google experienced significant growth, expanded its product offerings, and became a dominant player in the tech industry. During Eric Schmidt, played a crucial role in recruiting Sheryl Sandberg to the company. Schmidt recognized Sandberg's potential and believed that her skills would be valuable for Google's growth, especially in the areas of online sales and operations. Sandberg joined Google as Vice President of Global Online Sales and Operations. She played a crucial role in developing the company's advertising and sales strategies. Her time at Google was significant in shaping her reputation as a skilled and influential executive. Sandberg's role at Google involved overseeing the company's global online sales and operations. She played a key role in developing and implementing strategies for Google's advertising business. Her contributions were instrumental in helping Google become a dominant force in the online advertising industry. During her time at Google, Sheryl Sandberg played a significant role in expanding the company's advertising business and revenue streams. Her strategic insights and leadership contributed to Google's success during a period of rapid growth for the company. Before we continue our story, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Don't forget also to turn on the notification bell to be updated in our every uploads. Sheryl Sandberg's move to Google marked a pivotal point in her career, showcasing her ability to navigate and lead in the dynamic and innovative tech industry. After her successful tenure at Google, Sheryl Sandberg joined Facebook as its Chief Operating Officer COO, in 2008. At Facebook, she became a key figure in the company's executive leadership team and played a pivotal role in the business and strategic development of the social media giant. Sandberg was instrumental in expanding Facebook's global presence, increasing its user base, and developing strategies for advertising and revenue generation. The popularity of Facebook grew rapidly, leading to its expansion to other Ivy League universities and eventually to universities and colleges across the United States and Canada. Facebook introduced Facebook Connect, allowing users to log into third-party websites using their Facebook credentials. The Facebook platform was launched, enabling third-party developers to create applications for the site. During her time at Facebook, Sandberg became known for her advocacy for women's empowerment and gender equality in the workplace. She wrote the best-selling book, Lean In, addressing issues of women in leadership roles and providing insights into her own experiences. In 2012, Facebook went public with its initial public offering, IPO, and Sandberg continued to be a central figure in the company's post-IPO era. She remained an influential leader at Facebook until the present, contributing to its growth and navigating various challenges. Facebook made several strategic acquisitions, including Instagram in 2012 for $1 billion and WhatsApp in 2014 for $19 billion. Oculus VR, a virtual reality company, was acquired by Facebook in 2014 for approximately $2 billion. Facebook, in partnership with other technology companies, launched Internet.org, 
an initiative to provide affordable internet access to people in developing countries. In 2015, Sheryl Sandberg faced a personal tragedy when her husband, Dave Goldberg, passed away suddenly. She later wrote about her grief and coping mechanisms in her second book, Option B, Facing Adversity, Building Resilience, and Finding Joy, co-authored with Adam Grant. Sandberg has been a prominent advocate for gender equality and women's empowerment in the workplace. She has spoken openly about the challenges women face in their careers and has encouraged both individuals and companies to address gender bias and support diversity. Sandberg has served on the boards of various organizations, including the Walt Disney Company and SurveyMonkey. She has also been involved in philanthropy, supporting causes related to education, women's issues, and economic development. Facebook, now Meta Platforms, Inc., has become one of the world's leading technology companies, connecting billions of people globally and playing a pivotal role in shaping the landscape of social media and technology. The company's evolution reflects